Well, joining me now uh, live in Studio One uh, is uh, Nicola and Selena from uh, Chase Terry's Technical, uh, sorry, Chase Terry's Technology College. Uh, a very good afternoon to you both. Good afternoon. Um, can I start with uh, yourself, Nicola, if I may? Um, tell me a little bit about Chase Terrace uh, Technology College, uh, where it's located, uh, who it's catering for, and uh, your role there, please. Okay, so I'm Deputy Head Teacher at Chase Terrace, and we're an Ofsted Good Rated School. We're oversubscribed. We teach children from age 11 up to age 18, so we've got a big sixth form as well. We've got a really big and broad offer of our curriculum. We support the full range of children. We've got a very strong pastoral team. We've got very good academic success. Um, we have fantastic facilities as well at the school, which are used by the local community. We're situated right in the centre of Burntwood on Bridge Cross Road. Um, and like I say, we have a, a really strong link to lots of our community partners, community businesses, and we work really strongly with, our, with those local communities. Fantastic. Uh, Selena, um, you're also at uh, Chase Terrace uh, Technology College and uh, what do you do there? So I'm the Academy Business Manager there. I started at the school about 15 months ago now and one of the reasons why we're here today is we wanted to share with you some news about our school improvement fund that we've recently launched at the school. Well, on that subject, uh, you've got a number of projects which uh, are underway and uh, there's all sorts of uh, fundraising going on. Um, Nicola, if I could bring you in and uh, perhaps talk about uh, some of these projects that you've got underway. Uh, I know uh, there's one that uh, is currently there, the way you're raising funds to put a lift into the school, uh, but for a very, very specific reason. That's right. Well, it, currently it's a very specific reason, but we're also thinking ahead to the long term for other staff and other children that we might get at Chase Terrace. But at the moment, we've got a student called Daniel Ball, who's in year eight at our school, who has a rare genetic condition called Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. And Daniel has a really specific wheelchair, which is... Um, helps him to stand and wait bear to support his muscle movements so that his muscles don't waste away as quickly as the condition might otherwise cause it to um, and that wheelchair is very heavy and as Daniel grows and obviously we'd also have a member of staff in the lift with Daniel as well our lift capacity can no longer support Daniel to go up to our first floor of our building so there are certain specialist subjects like computer science and art which he can't get up to with his friends and he's a very independent very bright very enthusiastic young man and we don't want him to miss out on the classes that he would normally independently go to in his wheelchair with his friends and his peer group so we, we are making other arrangements so that Daniel has most of his classes downstairs. But like I say, there are certain pieces of equipment that he can't currently access with his friends and as independently as we'd like him to. So that's, that's for him currently. We need to make sure that that's done as soon as possible. And the aim is to raise £50,000 to be able to do that for him while he's with us at Chase Terrace. But equally, it means that as a school community we can offer that going forwards as well for other children that come to Chase Terrace and other staff that might need that facility. I've got to say Nicola that that really does demonstrate um, incredible demonstra uh, in incredible dedication towards your students uh, both now and in the future uh, absolutely uh, for that. Fantastic. Well, we've got a really strong bond with with lots all of our parents really and we have a real strength of, of Chase Terrace is our community links and it, it, we're well well known for very strong community links and Daniel's family have supported the school enormously right from when Daniel was at primary school and we've worked with them for a long time to make sure that we can accommodate his needs and we feel that we need to do that going forwards and Daniel also recognises that by him putting his name out there to do this it allows other children to get the same benefits. Fantastic. Um, Selena, that's not the only thing that uh, you're raising uh, awareness for and funding for, is it? No, it's not. Um, so our vision is to raise £100,000 in total. So the first £50,000, like Nick has just explained, is for the lift. But we'd also like to raise £15,000 to extend our accelerator reading programme. So this is a programme that we currently have in place for Year 7, which we embraced last year. Um, so our Year 7 students are benefiting currently, but we would like to extend it into our Year 8 and also our Year 9 cohort. Um, it basically enables us to increase the range of texts that are available um, to our 
year seven students currently, but we want to support the English department, but also the reading of our students beyond into year eight and also year nine. Um, but the expected cost for that is 15,000. So our vision is to incorporate our fundraising efforts to go beyond the 50 to achieve that 15,000. Fantastic. But then also a further 35,000 um, pounds. We've got great aspirations to renovate our provision that we call Lee's Hall, which is our lecture theatre. Um, it's a great provision, but we want to improve it. It's looking a little bit tired at the moment, and it's a provision that's used widely by our local community. Uh, so we'd like to raise the £35,000 so that we can replace the carpets, curtains, but also to upgrade the technology and also install air conditioning. Well, £100,000 uh, is the, uh, the, 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 the pot total that, that you're going for. Um, you're already um, well and truly off and running, and uh, we'll talk more about that just after this. But uh, stay with us, folks. Uh, more from uh, Chase Terrace Technology College just after this. Truly local radio. Can it change radio? Joining me back in Studio One now is uh, Nicola and Selena from uh, Chase Terrace Technology College. Uh, we're going to be talking more about uh, all this uh, fantastic funding that you're raising and uh, what what uh, what you're going to be doing with it. But more to more to the point, uh, how you've been raising it, uh, Nicola. If I can bring you in there, um, the pot so far stands at a staggering eight thousand three hundred already. Yeah. Wow, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, how how have you been achieving this? What what are some of the things that you've been up to? We've been raising money within school. So we've done a non-uniform day in November, which raised almost a thousand pounds straight away uh, we did a, a big event within school to raise awareness with, for world book day so all of our staff dressed up in themes so some of our departments were themes from particular books like harry potter or great gatsby for example and that raised over 700 pounds teachers and as well all the teachers Fantastic. yeah um in, in fact most of the teachers were the ones who were really keen to get uh, dressed up in in character and we had a lot of students as well that were dressing up obviously at secondary school it's not quite as cool to go dressed up to, to school as it is when you're at primary level but we had lots of children getting involved because so many staff got involved as well um, and we raised over 700 pounds for that and that went hand in hand with our accelerated reader that selena talked about earlier which is really important for us to increase the reading age of children at least to match their chronological age because then it means they've got access to all sorts of things as they get older they they can access every single subject rather than just focusing on their english and their literacy it's actually accessing every part of the curriculum by enabling them to read better and to have a greater depth of their vocabulary so actually ju just chatting in the break there um uh, really mentioning this for the benefit of our listeners uh, we was just saying that you've actually got a particular student that um has already got an accelerated reading ability that's fantastic yeah well, age 17 at, at just the age of 12 so his actual age is age 12 and his, his age on accelerated reader is assessed at age 17 and that that means that in terms of life chances for all of his exams when he gets to GCSE and gets to A-level courses he's got much greater chance of success in those courses because the reading and the comprehension and the range of vocabulary that that's used is so much broader so it makes it much better for them after after school as well once they leave school once they get a job things like writing letters emails um, writing for a purpose it, it's all increasing life chances which is what we want after school chatting on the radio absolutely <laughs> <laughs> selena if i can bring you in there um there's uh, there's been some other activities as well that uh, that, that sort of uh, accelerated this uh, uh, pot of uh, fundraising uh, would you like to tell me about those yeah we were very very busy around christmas and um, we worked in partnership with blithbury reindeer lodge and we hosted a fundraiser with them it was it was lovely it was really really festive but it allowed students to be a part of things as well so we we hosted an evening there and we had a number of students um competing in tug of war events with the reindeers but the students had to secure sponsorship to participate um but people also had to pay for their entry and that event as well as being really really enjoyable and um, to come along and feed the reindeers and meet santa um we actually raised over 500 pounds for the school and Improvement fund as well. Fantastic. And uh, last but not least, um, 
parent contributions, um, always important. Well, there's two other things actually. So um, we also did a Christmas raffle um, and that raised um, an incredible £2,500 for the pot as well. Wow. Um, that's mainly due to some really generous donations from local businesses. So before Christmas, we got in contact with a lot of local businesses and explained what our vision was for the School Improvement Fund and we were completely overwhelmed with the support that we had. We had some really kind um, and generous donations and we basically put together the raffle um, but we had an in-school competition so we've got forms throughout the school and we marketed it internally and the form that sold the most raffle tickets we rewarded them with a pizza party and um, so there was a good spirit of fundraising throughout the school on the run up to Christmas but the total raise was 2,500 but it was also great because there was some great gifts as well, so we gave back to the community, but also gave back to people that brought the raffle tickets. Fantastic. And um, final point. Um, the parental contributions. Indeed. Yeah, so um, again, we've been overwhelmed with the money that has been donated to the school um, through parental contributions. Um, that's in excess of £500 now. So it's a voluntary contribution. Um, it's not compulsory at all. But again, there's a lot of parents and carers that have got on board with the vision and we're incredibly thankful for their support, which has raised over £500. I think what, with, with what you're doing to the school and, and uh, what you're actually doing for the students, um, I'm not surprised they're getting involved. And uh, whether, whether it's, um, you know, a little or a lot, uh, if they give what they can, it, it's all uh, supporting the school and the students, isn't it? Yeah. We'll be back in just a moment. Well, uh, back chatting now is uh, Nicola and Selena, and we're going to talk more about events that's happening at Chase Terrace uh, Technology College. Uh, Nicola, if I could bring you in, um, the Great North Swim. Yes. Tell me more. Um, well, I used to swim many years ago. I used to be a competitive swimmer. And because we were doing all of the fundraising for the School Improvement Fund and for Daniel, I wanted to do my bit to raise some money for him and for the school. So I thought at the time it might be a good idea to do the Great North Swim, which is a mile swim across Lake Windermere in June. It's going to be a bit cold. It will be a bit cold. <laughs> um, you, you, I've, I've got a wetsuit. You, you must be training for this, um, and, and there must be some, some quite serious preparation. You don't just jump into Lake Windermere and swim it. No, I have been training. I've been doing some gym classes, and I've also been swimming at Burntwood Leisure Centre. Um, in fact, I'd really like to mention Burntwood Swimming Club at this point because they've helped me enormously by welcoming me into the Masters team um, and encouraging me to, to swim more with them and to not charge me for my training. So when they realised that I was doing a charity swim, the coach there, Hella and Curly, they called me in and asked me what the the reason for my um, charity swim was. And when I, when I talked to them about Daniel and the school and the fundraising, they said that they would support me by not charging me for any more of my training. Well, a big round of applause uh, for that, and uh, fantastic. It just shows that basically communities can pull together. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, when when is this swim? It's on the 8th of June, so it's a Saturday morning uh, at 9.30 across Lake Windermere, at Brock Hole in Windermere. And we've, we've had some donations already through my Just Giving page, which is on the website, the school website. So if you go onto the front page of the school site it's on the left hand side uh, there's a direct link to my just giving page we've had all sorts of donations i've recently had an anonymous donation from students of 50 pounds where the children must have clubbed together and put some really lovely well-wishing uh, messages on there i've had a 100 pounds donation from a, a friend of my dad's who lives in chicago and has a, a business over there and he's put 100 pounds on there for me he, he runs a company called uh, Jevons Enterprises and they've donated that money so literally the community is getting wider and wider of people who are donating and we're really grateful for that. Well if, you, if, you're, sit, if you're sat at home uh, in the car wherever you might be listening to Camit Chash Radio FM and uh, this conversation now um, take a moment later when you can um, as soon as it's uh, safe and, and legal to do so head over to our Facebook pinned to the top of the page 
uh, is all the information about this swim and other activities that's going on at the school. And the link to the Just Giving is actually pinned to the top post on our Facebook page. Uh, click the link, make a donation. It does make a difference. Um, that's absolutely incredible, um, you know, to, to sort of um, put yourself down for that sort of activity uh, and uh, obviously giving up a lot of time um, before it um, to actually prepare for such an event. Uh, it, it obviously shows the, the sort of level of passion that you've got for the school. It, but it's, it's the level of passion that we've all got for the school. I think once, once I started work there, you really do get sucked into the community and how much the teachers care about the children and how much the community is just a, a huge part of what we do. It makes a big difference. Well, well done to you, Nicola. Thank you. Selena, um, I want to talk about school lottery. Yes, it's very exciting. Um, who's, who, who, uh, who, who, who uh, can we say, should I say, can we say who won the first uh, school lottery uh, uh, last weekend? Yeah, so we had our first draw um, on Saturday and it was a lady called Laura Wilson who's actually one of the assistant head teachers at the school. Um, so she, like many other people, have actually brought tickets. So we've sold 120 so far. Um, and she got the winning ticket and um, she, she won on uh, Saturday. So she won £28. Fantastic. Um, but the more people that buy into the lottery, the, the greater the weekly prize come, uh, actually is. Um, so it's set to be £31.50 this Saturday because we've had more people buy tickets. Where do you buy tickets from? So if you go onto the school website, you can actually click on the school lottery link on the home page and that will allow you to go on and buy a ticket. So tickets cost one pound each, um, but it's great because it gives something back to the community. So it's open to anybody, parents, carers, anyone in the community can actually buy a ticket. Um, it gives you a chance of winning a weekly prize, but also you get entered into a separate national draw to win £25,000 every week. It's great because people have got the opportunity to win the money, um, but 40% of each ticket sold goes back into the school. That's really good. And, and so, as you said, it's open to everyone, the community, it's open to parents, carers, grandparents, staff, family. Friends, um, basically, friends, colleagues, everyone. I think the, the only rule is you've got to be over 16, isn't it? Absolutely, yep. that's right. Um, so again, another reason to get involved, um, communities supporting communities and, and basically um, helping the children um, actually get that, that better uh, sounding in, in, in education and also in life. That's right. Yeah. Um, moving on from there, um, other things that uh, you've got planned uh, possibly for the summer? later in the year uh, would Selena's you like to give them a mention actually got something planned for the very near future oh thanks for mentioning that one um so yes i too um i'm going to be participating in wolf run in um two weeks time um so i i'm running 10 kilometers frequently now so i've been training over the last couple of months um, but the combination of mud and obstacles means it's going to be a real challenge for me. Okay. Um, so, yes, I'm doing that, and I, too, I'm fundraising for it as well. Um, so there's a Just Giving page available there as well as part of the School Improvement Fund Just Giving page. Well, folks, all, all of these activities, uh, and, in fact, um, all of the news um, that's coming out and will be coming out at Chase Terrace uh, Technology College will be uh, on our Facebook page, will be on our website. So uh, much more news to come, and uh, we'll be watching over the course of 2019 uh, the results of some of these uh, fantastic events and uh, the very, very best of luck at rating this uh, 100K uh, pot of money.